All right, yep, there we go. Awakening Wood, got all seven treasures above ground and all the treasures and all the holes. Excellent. All right, now <laughs> the moment I'm sure a lot of you have been waiting for. We're going to that last dungeon in Perplexing Pool. The most infamous dungeon in the game. And I don't have the treasure that lights it up. Just to make it even more interesting. <laughs> Alright, here we are in Perplexing Pool. Let's take out... Not even 90 blues, let's take out like 70. You actually do not want all of your blues for this next dungeon. Oh wow, you guys are all flowers! That's so great! <laughs> no, I'm getting ready for success. We're going to succeed. Oh, hi, Water Dumples. Hi, how are you guys doing? Oh wow, we we already lost. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, well, to be fair, the reason I'm not going in with the light bulb treasure is because, uh, it, it adds to the atmosphere. <laughs> it, it's like the equivalent of playing a horror game with the lights off, you know? Yeah, wa water dumples don't mess around, man. <laughs> wow. I also don't remember exactly where the cave is, so that'll be interesting. <laughs> All right, well, that's the, you know the definition of insanity. Let's try the exact same thing again, but this time we do it good. <laughs> no, I'm I'm I don't think it's in that direction. Yep, only a few seconds in, and I lost to Pikmin. Okay. I think it's down there where the final dungeon is, actually. I don't think it's behind that gate. If it is, though, well... Unlu <laughs> unlucky for us. Oh, hey! That's nice. The Shearwigs are staying away. Um... Maybe we should, uh, free the Bitter Spray Berries. Because I just realized we have only one Bitter Spray left, and, um... I'm not gonna say the next dungeon's gonna be impossible with only one Bitter Spray, but it's definitely gonna make it a lot more difficult. There we go. Attaboy, Harry! Oh! Nope. Nope. Not happening. Alright, hey, swooping snitch bug. No. Get back here. Smear him. Smear him. Good job. Oh, look! The worm fiends have come to ruin our day. Let's, let's get at least one bitter spray. I think that would be a good idea. I have not played Fortnite, so I will have to say Minecraft is better. In fact, I literally don't even know what style of game Fortnite is. Like, Fortnite could be a first-person shooter, for all I know. Alright, yeah, bring those back. Why not? Is 
So there's the the big elevator puzzle over there. Is that where the final dungeon is? Doggone it! Of all the times to not have purple Pikmin with me. Hey, it's a skitter leaf. <laughs> but not anymore. Um, you're not allowed. Wah! What the heck? I have never seen a yellow Wallywog jump that much. Also, did one of my Pikmin just die? Is there a way to check that? Because I know I got Pikmin from the. Uh, no, don't grab the skitter leaf, you doof. I've literally never seen a Wally Wog jump that much. I don't like how he's just hanging out there. He's like, I'm gonna wait for you to leave before I stomp your Pikmin. Also, wow, those Pikmin are taking a long time to break down that gate. I will almost certainly not be streaming Minecraft. I'm not very good at it. I don't think anybody would really enjoy watching it. I only play Minecraft very sparingly. Alright, did I... I really wish I could see if I actually lost a Pikmin or not. I really wish I could see whether I lost a Pikmin or not. Because it could be, like, at the end of this in-game day. It's like, oh, ho, ho, guess what? <laughs> that yellow Wallywog actually crushed one of your Pikmin. And now you have to reset the entire day. Which is bad if I'm doing this dungeon. What's my favorite sub-level in the game so far? Are you talking about what favorite cave or favorite sub-level within a cave? Because I have no idea what my favorite sub-level within a cave is. I don't remember most of them. My favorite cave that I've done thus far has been Glutton's Kitchen. That's my favorite cave. I know what I'm gonna do. Actually, no, wait, I... Mm. Okay. I need to check... to see... If I have lost a Pikmin or not. So I, I have a plan. I have a plan. Alright, come on, Pikmin. There we go. Okay, here's the Hermit Cromads. Yeah, I think the last dungeon is over here. Maybe? Possibly? There it is. Here we go. Interesting. Deeper sections of this hole seem to be submerged in liquid. Sadly, I am a delicate piece of machinery that is sensitive to water. You two must go alone. Why do you look at me with such scornful expressions? I am an expensive machine. Fine, I'll go. But this wantonly reckless treatment of company property will be reported. Alright. So here we are, the most infamous dungeon in the game. Submerged Castle. The entrance is underwater, and unlike uh, the shower room, we can't drain it, so we can only enter with Blue Pikmin. But look at that! We have every type of hazard, including poison and electricity. And we only have Blue Pikmin. Yeah. Oh boy. Yep, this is the most famous dungeon in the game by far. Alright, now I still need to make sure that it didn't...
Oh no. What have I done? What have I done? If I lost a Pikmin that day, I am so screwed. You know why? Because uh, I didn't copy my folder before starting this stream. So if I did lose a Pikmin, I just saved that I lost a Pikmin, which means I will have to redo everything from two streams ago. Okay, so I should have done this at the beginning. So the reason I reset, I was planning to reset anyways. Because I... I... Um... No, it's not. The memory card in slot A is most definitely not damaged. Oh, no. Um, what? <clears throat> um, GameCube, this is no time to be messing with me. <laughs> this is no time to be messing with me, game. <laughs> or GameCube or memory card or whatever it is. Um, this could be bad. Huh. Ship's log is corrupted? What? What the heck is this? What the heck is this? Okay, hang on. Okay. Do, do, do. Pikmin 2. We Okay, we have more than enough memory open, so it's not a problem if we don't have enough blocks. Oh, no, but the, here's the problem is... Uh, why can't you check how many Pikmin have died from the overworld? Like, you have... You can only do it from the main map. Okay, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to copy my f my file one that's on day 10, so I have both of them at the start of Submerged Castle, and then in one of the folders I can leave if I le and then end the day to see at the end of the day screen how many of the Pikmin actually died. Okay, so let's erase the corrupted data. Let's let's just try it again. Copy to file free. Okay, there we go. The copies... Okay, so it worked that time. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, if uh, if I lost a Pikmin... If I, if I did lose a Pikmin, we are in big trouble. Okay. So in this file, I'm going to give up an escape, and then immediately end the day to see if I lost a Pikmin. If I lost a Pikmin, well... I'm not really sure what... Oh, I... Oh, I'm stupid. I could have just hit don't save. Oh, yeah. Remember, especially the one in slot B has, like, so many games saved to it. Okay. I am super dumb. I could have just not bothered with all this copying stuff. Okay. Okay, thank goodness. Okay, thank goodness. That would have sucked if that yellow frog had crushed one of my Pikmin and I didn't know it. Because it looked like he crushed something at the exact same time more Pikmin were popping out of the onion, so I couldn't tell if one of them had actually died. And because everything was blue on the screen, I couldn't see any blue Pikmin ghosts. Okay, crisis averted. <laughs> Almost had a couple of heart attacks there. We're ready to keep playing. Now we're going to do Submerged Castle. All right. So Submerged Castle is interesting because we have to deal with a bunch of hazards with just blue Pikmin. And we got to go... I won't spoil it for anyone who doesn't know, but um, we got to go fast. 
You, you have to go fast in this dungeon. Okay, we have 77. Okay, this is not good. My Pikmin keep are in this endless cycle of burning. Can my Pikmin stop catching on fire for one second? Good lord! It's because the Blowhog and the Geyser are on different sync schedules. There we go. Remember how I said we had to go fast? Okay, yeah. Find and get all as much treasure as you possibly can as soon as possible. I won't spoil it. But let's just say if you, if you if you end up taking too long on these sub levels, um you're going to regret it. All right. That's a nice looking donut, the pastry wheel. It's kind of weird how it's frosted on the sides and not on the top, but Okay. This is a fiery Bulblax. He will catch fire if he's out of water, and we're going to need a bitter spray to take him out. Just trust me, we don't even want to have to deal with that. Fiery Bulblaxes are probably the most annoying enemy in the game. That was one of the reasons I wanted to get a second Bitter Spray before coming here, because I knew he was here on the first sub-level. Um, don't run away! I saw that freaking Pikmin caught on fire, and he's running as far away from me as possible. The bug bait cookie. Don't be stupid, Pikmin. Thank goodness you can extinguish Pikmin who catch on fire. Probably shouldn't have taken in all of these leaf Pikmin. Also, yeah, it should tell you something that there's a geyser to leave the cave on the very first floor. Like, that, that should tell you something. Also, you gotta love the super creepy music in here. Still another treasure somewhere. At least we've cleared out the enemies? Okay. This is weird. It's like no matter what direction I move in, I move farther away from the treasure. Oh. Wait, what? Where's the treasure? Oh, here it is. Okay. I need my fastest men to carry that back ASAP. Come on. Come on, go faster. Where's the... Oh, okay, I'm going the wrong way. Alright, this is the final treasure, I know it. It's the Mickey Mouse pastry. Haha! <laughs> -ha, gosh! Buy stuff at Disney! The Diet Doomer. <laughs> is that like a strawberry truffle? Oh my gosh. We made it out! We made it out in time! Okay, thank goodness! <laughs> you gotta, gotta go fast. You gotta go fast. Haven't played Super Meat Boy. 
Sounds interesting. But again, I have such a backlog of games I want to play that I'm not I'm not eager to add any more right now. Alright, Submerged Castle sub-level 2. Same story, every sub-level Submerged Castle. Yeah, so the, the boss of this dungeon will attack you in the sub-levels if you don't make it out in time. And yes, there is a reason why that is so bad. Ooh, this is a pretty area. Okay, and this is another gimmick, so... Do you see that guy with all those little guys following him around? <laughs> That's a new enemy type. This is the Bulbman. I hate how it will not let you use sprays while you are throwing Pikmin. And it's not even like, oh, if you're pressing the A button at the same time. It's like, no, if you press the A button, there's like a full second where you are just not allowed to use sprays. Ugh. Alright, well, I fully expected to need to reset in Submerged Castle. Not for that, though. But the Bulbman, yeah, so... The Bulbman is an annoying enemy because it can eat your Pikmin really fast. And if you only have blue Pikmin, you can't really take it out reliably without a Bitter Spray, if you, unless you want to lose a Pikmin. So, yeah, we might have to use a Bitter Spray for that. Thank you. I'm, I'm excited for it, too, even though I already know what's coming. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. We do want to kill the Boltman, though, because... Is he still over here, or is this... Nope. Boltman moved to a different area. Alright. This is such a pretty hallway here. Very good graphics. Wow, really? Leads to a dead end. Of course it does. Bunch of spiders up there. Nothing to worry about. Come on, little leaf Pikmin. I really should not have brought the seven leaf Pikmin that I created in here. That was a mistake. Oh, great! The Boldman is at the other side of this gate! As soon as that gate falls, it's gonna be there. Look at that! Okay. Darn it. Come on, just knock the gate down. There we go. Go away. Yeah, we're gonna need to bitter spray it if we want to get out of here. So what we do is we kill the, the Bulbman mother, and then we can get these little Bulbmen following us. The confused Bulborb has fallen in with the Pikmin. They appear to coexist peacefully. Strange, this Bulborb has a leaf sprouting from its spine, much like the leaf on a Pikmin's head. So these are Boldmen. What's nice about Boldmen... Uh, they, okay, well, they just drank all the nectar. That's not very nice. What's nice about the Boldmen is that they are immune to every type of hazard. So they can go in water, they can withstand fire, they can withstand poison and electricity. So that's how... The Boldmen are how we're going to deal with all the hazards. This is a careening dirigibug. He's not nice because he throws bomb rocks all over the place. And very quickly spawns new ones. We're getting a lot more dessert treasures over here. It's one of those, like, checkerboard cookies. The comfort cookie. Ten pokos. The only real way to deal with the Kareen Dirigibug safely is for him to throw a bomb, and then for you to start attacking him before he can throw another one. But that almost never happens, because he pretty much always f pulls out another bomb before the first one. Again. Oh, not this time. No, no, no. Ugh. Yeah, like, look at that. He throws out, he pulls out other bombs, like, immediately.
He's also immune to his own bomb explosions. Okay, there we go. There we go, okay, cool. So he's dead. That's good. This is gonna be the hole to the next sub-level. Let's destroy that as soon as possible. Right now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna separate out our Pikmin. There we go. Olmar, you stay behind here. So that way, if we ever need to do an emergency leave, we can just quickly swap to Olimar and have him enter the cave, and that is going to be very nice. Alright, is that the only remaining... I think that might be the only remaining treasure on the sub-level. Oh, wait. There's a freaking wall. Okay. That's okay. The way should be safe for them to take that sponge cake over here. <laughs> yeah, Karina and Deragey bugs are definitely annoying, especially in the later dungeons where they spam them all over the place. What's my favorite and least favorite Zelda game? So favorite Zelda game, and by extension favorite game of all time, is Ocarina of Time. It's not even close. My least favorite Zelda game that I have played and beaten is Zelda 2. Not to say that I hate Zelda 2, but it is my least favorite. Okay. I remember there were the orange bulwarks over here. And I remember that one fell into the water. What? I hear a Pikmin who is in danger going, Meh! But there shouldn't be anything that can eat my Pikmin right now. There were no Pikmin in the water! That's BS! I swear that there were no Pikmin in the water over there. How could that have happened? <sighs> ah, well. If at first you don't succeed in all of that... Have I tried Grass Sanity or Pot Sanity? I don't think that's a thing. And so, uh... Yeah, yeah, oh, come on, that's not fair! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> that is rude, that is rude. You didn't see a Pikmin die? I, I saw a Pikmin die, I just didn't see him fall to his death. He, apparently there was a Pikmin who fell off of the river, and there was an orange bull orb hiding down there who ate him. Even though I swear no Pikmin fell in the water. Also, by extension, I can't let any Bulbmore, Bulbman die, either. Even though you can't actually take Bulbman out of the dungeon. Like, they will they will get left behind. That doesn't count as a death, but if they... Ah! They can throw bombs over gates. Because, hey, why not? Where is that last Pikmin that's not under my control? He's over there. He's out of range of the bomb. Okay, cool. That bomb is too far away. Alright. Cool, he's dead. That is good. Gotta hurry, hurry, hurry. Rush, rush, rush. I don't think Grass Sanity, Pot Sanity is a thing. I have not seen that option in the Ocarina randomizer, nor the Majora's Mask randomizer, so I really don't know what you're talking about. I am assuming it's like you cut grass and you can get the hook shot. That doesn't sound all that interesting to me. <laughs> Oh, 
I, I, I turn on for randomizers what is fun. Most of the stuff that you can randomize honestly just isn't that fun, like key sanity. I've also I've tried the entrance randomizer, which is really trippy. You kind of need like a notebook just to keep track of what leads where. Oh yes, the donut! <laughs> I love donuts. Mmm, chocolate frosted. The chocolate cushion. Uh, no. As far as I know, there is nothing like that in the I have in any randomizer that I have seen. Alright, I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure there's gonna be another orange bulb orb here somewhere. Oh, sure enough, I can see him down here. And you know what? I don't even trust that there's not another one in the water. Apparently there's not. Alright. Bring the cake wheel back. Don't bother with the enemies. They're not worth enough. Okay, well that's not the randomizers that I use, so... Oh no, is this where the dweevils are going to be annoying little pricks? And be like, oh, I see you're taking this treasure back. Haha, <laughs> it's mine now. Like, I got a 30 Pikmin on this thing. There's no way a tiny little Dweevil is going to be... It should be able to... Nope! The tiny little Dweevil can apparently pick it up. Leave the Dweevil alone. He's not here to kill you. He's just here to annoy us. Okay, so far so good. It doesn't look like the bad fane is arriving. All right, and there's that pi uh, pastry wheel, I believe. Confection hoop. I'm sorry, pastry wheel was last sub level. Okay, cool. If I can avoid dealing with the bad fane. <laughs> I am going to. <laughs> Unfortunately, those first two sub-levels are the warm-up.